Long Island is a large, densely populated island in New York, USA. It stretches 190 kilometers east from the mainland, and including the Queens and Brooklyn boroughs of New York City, hosts approximately 7.9 million people. Just north of it is the Long Island Sound, a tidal estuary less than 10 kilometers wide at points, with a max depth of only 100 meters. Currently, any commuter traveling between Long Island and upstate New York or New England has to travel through Queens, across the highly congested Throg's Neck or Whitestone Bridges. As an alternative, they could ride one of the ferry services across the Long Island Sound. However, these ferries are extremely slow, usually making the Queens option faster. For this reason, the proposal for a connection across the Long Island Sound has been explored. The idea was first introduced in 1938 by U.S. Senator Royal Copeland, who proposed a 29-kilometer-long bridge from Orient Point, New York, to Connecticut or Rhode Island. However, after Copeland's death that same year and the onset of World War II, the proposal faded from consideration. Then, in 1957, Charles H. Sells, the former New York superintendent for public works, proposed two bridges across the Sound, one between Orient Point and Watchill Road Island, and another between Oyster Bay and Rye Bridge, near New York City. At first glance, it may seem like the Orient Point option would be best. After all, it would be relatively short and would connect the most distant sectors of Long Island to the mainland. Unfortunately though, this proposal would have several problems. It would cross the deepest region of the Sound, drastically increasing the cost for a bridge. And while benefiting commuters between Long Island and New England, it would provide no benefit for those traveling to upstate New York. In addition, the infrastructure in the region is not built for heavy traffic loads and would need to be upgraded. For these reasons, the first proposal has been mostly dismissed. However, Sell's second proposal could provide massive benefits. The western region of the Sound is very narrow and shallow, with a max depth of only 30 meters, suitable for a bridge. A connection across it would help relieve congestion from the I-95 highway and the Throg's Neck and Whitestone bridges. The link would improve connectivity and decrease transit times between Long Island and the rest of New York. For the first time, freight would be able to travel to and from Long Island without dealing with New York City congestion. Employment opportunities would increase for residents on both sides of the Sound and regional businesses would have larger markets. In addition, a link would help accelerate mass evacuations from Long Island, which is vulnerable to hurricanes. Furthermore, the connection's construction would create over 2,000 jobs, providing an economic incentive. Lastly, the connection would put the U.S. on the world stage, demonstrating that it is still capable of executing such massive infrastructure projects. After Sells proposed the bridge in 1957, Long Island's traffic increased significantly, and his idea gathered interest. Then, in 1964, Robert Moses, chairman of the Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority, worked with the Department of Public Works to commission a $150,000 feasibility study. The plans called for a cable state suspension bridge stretching 9.8 kilometers across the Sound. It would be four lanes with a central span of 370 meters and a maximum vertical clearance of 41 meters, allowing ships to pass through. 16.7 kilometers of approaches would then connect to the region's highways. In 1966, it was estimated that this bridge would cost 150 million US dollars, or 1.2 billion today. The proposal gained the support of Governor Nelson Rockefeller and many other officials. Construction seemed likely. However, in 1969, Rockefeller's office delayed the project by claiming that the bond market, which would help fund the project, 
was too soft. In 1970, Rockefeller ordered another $160,000 feasibility study. In 1972, Moses and the New York Department of Transportation brought the proposal to the Federal Highway Administration for final approval. However, several major problems prevented it from passing. Opposition grew from residents whose land would be seized to build the approaches. Residents also expressed fears over decreased property values, the destruction of beautiful Long Island Sound views, and the negative environmental consequences. Faced with growing public opposition, Rockefeller canceled the project on June 30th, 1973. Over the next few decades, several other proposals were explored, connecting Long Island to Connecticut. Plans were made for connections from Wading River to New Haven and Kings Park to Bridgeport. However, Connecticut opposed these proposals, stating that they would provide little to no benefit for its residents. In 2008, developer Vincent Polimeni proposed a privately financed $16 to $18 billion tunnel between Oyster Bay and Rye. It would include two tubes containing three lanes each that would carry approximately 80,000 travelers a day. This approach would be much more expensive than a bridge, but would not disrupt the environment or cause public outcry. Then, in 2016, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo endorsed two 12.8 meter diameter tubes with three lanes each, stretching 29 kilometers from Port Chester to Oyster Bay. It would come with a new updated cost of 55 billion US dollars. However, Cuomo canceled the project in 2018 due to public criticism. Still though, it seems that most Long Island residents would support a connection. A February 2000 poll found that 63% of Long Island residents support plans for a connection across the Sound. Ultimately, there are two connection options, a cheap but controversial bridge or an expensive but appeasing tunnel. With the region's population still growing, maybe one day, with a committed administration and enough public support, either a bridge or tunnel will finally be constructed across the Long Island Sound. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe for more videos very similar to this one. Also, remember to check out the comments and join the conversation. Thanks for watching and see you next time.